uh, Peggy Borgelin, and we're going to today learn what happens to the Project Phaedra notebooks when they first get to the library. So this is okay. Jenny. Hi. You want to um, introduce yourself? I'm Jenny. I am the Digital Projects Assistant at the Wolbach Library. Okay. Um, so this is a Phaedra box and we get them from the Harvard Depository where they're kept. Okay. Um, so once we get them, we open them up. So this is the first time they've been looked at by anybody, right? Uh, this one has already been gone through. Oh, okay. Um, just as an example. Okay. Um, so this is what they look like when we open up the box. Um, they're all neatly, neatly stacked here. And um, so we'll go through one by one, take it out, and I'll have you know, a laptop here to go through. We have a data spreadsheet, a database. Okay, so maybe we can look at that later. Yeah. Okay. So we just open it up. This is upside down. Oh, there we go. Yes. There we go. Cool. Right. So um, general catalog. Circle readings, explanatory mm -hmm. remarks. Yes. So, so what do you look for as you uh, So one open of the first things that we look for is the start date and end date. Um, so here it says 1811 okay. should be accurate. Um, oh, there, uh, 13004. No, that can't be. No, that must no. be the yes. I'll stop talking. <laughs> okay, can you see? Okay. That's what you know, yeah. Thank you. So, so is, I think it yeah. should be eight. Mm, it's tricky though because usually they're um, they're from the 19. So this is 19, I mean 1811, I think. Okay. Um, so usually then, we'll pick. So is this one in good shape compared to some? This or is in is pretty good shape, yeah. Okay. Um, sometimes they'll have um, like, you know, just some discoloration. Um, Do you keep track of that or only if it's like really bad? Only if it's serious, we'll make a note of it. Um, okay. If we need to do any preservation um, methods on it. To, make sure that it's in so, good health. Yes, do you guys do the, the preservation kind of stuff, or do you? No, uh, we, oh, okay. um, if it's serious enough, we'll send that out to do um, proper care. Okay, So um, neat. Yeah, and so once we go through the notebooks and get all the data, like um, dates, authors, um, title, so things like that, okay. the basics of what we can, um, we can filter out from there, and, um, We'll keep that metadata in our database and send the box to the imaging department. Okay. Um, and uh, they'll take pictures of it, scan them, and put them online. And the Smithsonian Transcription Center will have them so that um, volunteers and transcribers can contribute to the project. Cool. All right. Well, let's go take a look at the uh, what what's data is entered into the database. So here we are, the database. Yes. So this is the Phaedra database, um, it says welcome. There's a few different functions here on the left. Uh, normally we go by search by box, um, and we're looking at box 58, we, it's already pulled up. So how many boxes are there? Um, I'm not sure how many boxes there are, but um, there are over 2,000 notebooks. There's about 2,500 notebooks. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, in the database here, they'll give you a list of boxes. So the box contents are here. So do we have the box that we were looking at? Um, I think it oh, was still here at the yeah, bottom. Which notebook? I think it was one of these. Um, so it's 1871. Oh, oh, it was the circle readings. Circle oh, yeah. readings. Oh, they're both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they both say oh, the yeah. same. Okay. Sometimes they're multiple, you know, uh, okay. will continue into multiple notebooks. Oh, and then it was 1871 instead 71, of 1811. Yeah, so that's where handwriting, you need to pay attention. Gotcha. So probably they put the date in multiple places, so that's where yeah, you have to look. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, or if, you know, sometimes if you get used to the handwriting well enough, you're looking at the handwriting, you can recognize, um, you know, that's, oh, that's a seven. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> you just got to pay attention. And uh, so here it'll list the title and the dates. Um, you can edit them here. There's a, pers um, a person where you can list the author 
Okay, and then if there's more than one author, do you oh add a person? Yeah, you can add a person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, A notes section and an event history. So here we'll record when the box was requested from us uh, to be delivered from Harvard Depository, and then we'll record when it's been received, when it's been delivered, and then more events when we make updates to the metadata, like person or if we change the dates, or okay. edit the title, um, everything like that. So that'll be recorded so we can track all the changes that are made. Okay, and it probably, like for notes, that's where you put like the condition and things like yeah, that? Yeah, if there are any particular, um, particularly you know, concerning things we should make note of, um, you know, if there are any preservation issues that need to be addressed, or if the box needs to get loaned out to the plate sex or um, wherever else, whoever else needs it. We'll okay. make a note, uh, track it, make sure we, uh, we know where it is. Sure. <laughs> so. All right. And then so like how long would it take for you to go through an entire box? Um, it takes, for one box it'll take about a day uh, for a student worker. Uh, it takes a few hours. You want to Make sure to sit down and look through the item one by one and make sure you're getting accurate information uh, for researchers. Sure. So. so what happens to um, what happens to the books after you've entered the metadata? Um, so we'll put them back in their box and then we'll send them to the imaging department. Okay. Um, and that's when, you know, the next the next portion of the workflow sure. happens. So, so we'll visit them next. Yeah. But this is this is cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. No problem. And uh, so, what kind of background do you have? Me. Yes. To um, do this kind of stuff. So I just uh, graduated with my master's degree in library science. Okay. So um, I've taken some classes uh, on metadata and preservation. Um, you know, and everything that one might need to make sure that these items get handled properly. Okay, so. and then what would you say to somebody who wanted to um, like work in a library like you do? Um, well, it's a great place to be and I definitely recommend it. Okay. Um, yeah, just dive in and um, start a start the library thing. <laughs> so yeah. do you like, do you like, like what are good qualities for it? Like, do you like have to like to read, or do you like um, detail well, oriented? Or um, intellectual curiosity is really a key. Okay. Um, so people who like researching or like learning, um, that's really great to have. Okay. Um, do you need really a big anyone technical? by any? Uh, no, not necessarily. Okay. Um, I'm still learning every day. I'm trying to build my technical skills all the time. Okay. Um, but anyone really from any background can work in a library. Absolutely. So. Awesome. Do you need a very soft voice? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for your no time. No problem. And uh, the volunteers say thank you. All right. You're welcome.